Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my brand new traction motor, just got built. Um, got done a couple days ago, just been doing some um, timing and testing some different things here. Um, this is a, a traction motor, so there's uh, four steel rotors in here. Um, no magnets, just electromagnets. Uh, has four coils. Then we have a 500 volt MOSFET here on top. Uh, we have the optical timing, so it has four cutouts for the four positions. Uh, the motor doesn't have polarity because there's no magnets in it, um, just electromagnets. Uh, this is the timing circuit. Um, opto timing coming to optocoupler for speed control. And then small MOSFET triggers big MOSFET. And then we have uh, a high speed uh, ultra fast diode to capture that um, big spike that comes off of this thing. Uh, as usual we have black and red for input and then we have yellow and white for output. Output's going into this capacitor discharge bank and it gets discharged to the second battery. So for those of you that aren't familiar with a traction motor, uh, it actually works just like this. You have an electromagnet you have a piece of steel and as you do the timing you would turn it on about right here and then it attracts it in you turn it off and then it comes around again and you just keep doing the timing in the right position and it rotates so this whole motor is just mild steel uh, no permanent magnets so it makes it quite inexpensive so this is our Adreno for the pulse width modulator uh, I have this hooked up to the scope so you guys could check it out. So this is not a self-starting motor. Got to give it a little kick. It only has um, one circuit at the moment. So you know, at this low speed, it kind of pulses with the output. But um, as we turn it up, and it gets rid of that. So we're just going to bring it up to speed here. About 3,100 RPMs. Uh, the torque on this is quite strong. I can barely get it, barely stop it with my hand. It's burning my fingers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut this down for me for a moment. We're gonna get a load set on this thing. Alright, so now let's uh, see how this acts with the load. Bring this up, get this going. You hear the torque on this thing. So about 500 RPMs right now kind of surging between an amp and a half to, to two amps but um, we're pulsing out 10 amps every discharge so I'm just going to start bringing this up to speed here uh, three amps seems to be about the most efficient the pulse width modulator it's running pretty smooth and we could bring this all the way up to speed here thirteen hundred rpms so it's using quite a bit of juice but 
help it's so good, but if we just tone it down just a little bit, get those spikes back in there. Even right there at 4 amps, this thing just pulsing along real good. It's a lot of power coming out of that. So this is set to 18 volts on the capacitor discharge. You can see every time that pulses that 100 amp battery, it just starts coming up. And um, even at this RPM, the torque is still really strong. Turn this thing all the way up here. I can't physically stop it with, without burning my fingers. <laughs> Pretty neat. So anyway, hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching.